Welcome back to the Latilides tutorial. In today's video, I'll talks about how to create a realistic Captain America's shield. You will see it as close to real, because it has a radially brushed texture plus a shiny impression from the reflection of light, so that this Captain of America's shield looks more realistic. The technique is very simple and easy, you can follow it step by step even though you are a beginner. Without any further ado, let's jump to Adobe Illustrator. First, create a document with RGB color mode. Remember you have to use RGB because otherwise the results will not be the same if you follow this Adobe Illustrator tutorial. As usual, I have provided a color palette that I made earlier to shorten this Adobe Illustrator tutorial. You can get the color code in the description. Create a circle using the ellipse tool. Click anywhere in the artboard area to open the ellipse panel. For now, just give it a size of 365 by 365 pixels. After that, give the standard black and white gradient color in the swatches panel. Open the gradient panel and set the gradient type to radial. Then go to the object menu and click expand. In the expand panel, set the expand gradient to, to gradient mesh and click OK. Its function is that we expand the circle into a gradient mesh with a circular pattern, according to the radial mesh that we have given. To see the results, right-click on the circle. Then ungroup. Right-click again. And this time select Release Clipping Mask. Remove the masking object because we don't need it. And now we're going to modify this radial mesh, in such a way as to create a metallic feel. But before further modifying it, Change the size of this radial mesh to 365 by 365 pixels as it was originally. You can change it in the properties panel over here. Or if you don't have a workspace like mine, you can change it in the control panel overview above. This is for width. And this is for the height. Now we will give it a blue color like the center of Captain America's shield. Select this circle. And use the eyedropper tool to sample the colors in the color palette I created earlier. First, I'm going to give it the darkest blue from the blue palette. Next, use the direct selection tool and select all the anchor points in the center of this circle vertically. Again, use the eyedropper tool and choose the lightest blue in the color palette. The rest, we just need to add a few more anchor points to add color to this radial mesh. Now use the mesh tool on the toolbar to create a new anchor point. Create additional anchor points with a criss-cross pattern with a 45 degree angle, like this. Once done, use the Direct Selection tool to select all the anchor points just created. Press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard to select all the anchor points. Then use the Eyedropper tool again to sample the second blue color in the color palette. Use the Mesh tool again to add some more anchor points. Add it like this anyway with a criss-cross pattern, or you can arrange it differently from what I did here. Or, you can also add more anchor points. Reuse the eyedropper tool and add a third blue color in the color palette. And for the blue part of Captain America's shield has been completed. Now we will work on the other part, but we're not going to start all over again. We just have to duplicate this part of the blue shield to create the rest of it. Select this blue part. Then go to the Edit menu. And copy. Then go to the Object menu. Lock. Selection. So that we are not disturbed by this object when we make a selection using the Direct Selection tool on other objects. Go back to the Edit menu again, and select Paste in Place. This way we duplicate the object exactly where the original object is. Right click on the object you just pasted. Arrange. And send to back. Change the size to 520 by 520 pixels in the control panel. Select the vertically aligned anchor points by using the direct selection tool. Use the eyedropper tool to give it a bright red color. Return to the direct selection tool again to select horizontally aligned anchor points. Eyedropper tool. Choose the darkest red color. Select all anchor points that crossed 45 degrees. Give it a second red color. For the remaining anchor points, add a third red color. We're done with the first red part of the shield. Now we continue to create the third part, which is the white part. To create it, simply do the same as in the red part. Copy. 
lock, and paste in place. Arrange, and send to back. Resize to 675 by 675 pixels. Now we will give it a gray-white gradient color for the white shield part. Do the exact same thing as the previous step on the blue and red parts of the shield. Starting from white vertically. Darkest gray color on horizontally aligned anchor points. Then gray number 2 for anchor points that cross 45 degrees. And for the rest of the other anchor points give the third gray color. And for the last part of the shield, we just need to duplicate the red part that was previously made. First, open the lock. If you are using Adobe Illustrator 2021 version, all you have to do is right click on the locked object. Unlock, and select the object. But if you are still using the old version, you can open it in the object menu. Once open, go to the edit menu. Copy, back again to the edit menu, and paste in place. Resize it to 830 by 830 pixels. And send to back. Now, we just need to make a star in the middle. To make this star, use the star tool on the toolbar. Press and hold Shift and Alt key for Windows or Option key on Mac, then draw the star. The function of these two buttons when pressed together is to create a symmetrical star with an acute angle. For the color, we use the white part of the shield. Copy this white part. And paste in place. Right click. Arrange. Send backwards. Press the Shift key on the keyboard and select the star that was created earlier. Right click. Make clipping masks. And for the base of Captain America's shield it's complete. Select all of them and lock. The next step we will create a line effect that separates the colors on this shield. So it will seem these colors look separate and impressive they are made of different materials. First, make a circle that is the same size as the blue part of the shield. Place it just above the blue part of the shield until it covers it. Set the stroke and fill to none. Now open the appearance panel. You can find it in the window menu. We can see in the appearance panel that the stroke and fill are none. And just ignore the fill part because we are only working on the stroke. In this section, you must pay attention to it, step by step, because this section is more detailed and if you skip just one step, then you will get a different result. First, select the stroke. While this stroke is selected, open the swatches panel and choose a black and white gradient color. After that, go to the gradient panel. In the gradient panel, change the gradient angle to minus 90 degrees. Back again to the appearance panel. Change the stroke weight to two points. Open the strokes panel here. And change the align stroke to align stroke to inside. Now, go to the transparency panel. And change the blending mode to overlay. The next step, Add a new stroke by clicking the Add New Stroke button in the lower left corner. Open the Gradient panel. And click the Reverse Gradient button. Go back again to the Appearance panel. Open the Stroke panel. Change the Align Stroke to Align Stroke to Outside, then go again to the Transparency panel. And change the Blending Mode to Overlay. With a technique like this, we can create an object, or a path by giving it two or more different strokes. In this case, we created two strokes with different gradient colors on a circle object. As a result, we have created an embossed effect like this. For the other parts, we just have to duplicate it and place it right in the part between the colors. And to emboss the outermost part of the shield we only need one gradient stroke, so we have to delete the outer stroke. In the Appearance panel, select the Outer Stroke. If you don't know which is the outermost stroke in this Appearance panel, you just need to click on the eye icon here, you can hide or unhide it to detect it. Once found, select the stroke, and press the Delete button at the bottom of the Appearance panel. And increase it to 4 point stroke weight on the other stroke. In this section, we have finished creating the basic shape of Captain America's shield. And the next stage is that we will create a brushed metal texture, so that this shield looks more realistic. But before we move on to the next step, I'm going to create a new layer where the texture is, and lock this layer so we don't have any accidental editing. 
To create a brushed metal texture in Adobe Illustrator is a little more tricky. Because to create this texture we don't work with vectors, we need a raster image to make it, but we don't need to import any images, we can create that raster image only in Adobe Illustrator. First, create a circle using the ellipse tool. Make according to the size of the shield, which is 830 by 830 pixel. Make the stroke to none, and fill the fill with gray. After that go to the effects menu. Texture. And grain. This panel is usually found and most often used in Adobe Photoshop, but thanks to Adobe for including this raster effect in Adobe Illustrator, that allowing us to create raster effects only in Adobe Illustrator. Just in the settings column in the grain panel, set the intensity to 60. Contrast to 30 and the grain type is set to stippled. And just click OK. And we will get a grain effect like this. Go to the effects menu again. Blur. And radial blur. Set the amount to 60. Blur method to spin. And the quality is set to best. Click OK. And the result will look like this. Finally, change the blending mode to color burn in the transparency panel. Lower its opacity to 45%. We've finished this shield looking realistic by adding a brushed metal texture to it. Now we just need to add a few more adjustments. Create another circle with a size of 830 by 830 pixels. Give the gradient color black and white that already has the swatches panel, and change the gradient type to radial. Slide the white color stop slightly to the middle. After that, use the gradient tool on the toolbar, and set the gradient position like this. Go to Transparency Panel. Change the blending mode from Normal to Soft Light, and lower the opacity to 70%. And here we are, this realistic Captain America's shield is finished, and thank you for watching this Adobe Illustrator tutorial, and don't forget to press the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get the latest updates for the next Adobe Illustrator tutorial from this channel. If this tutorial was useful, don't hesitate to like and share with your friends. And please ask in the comments if there is something you missed in this video. Thank you and see you in the next video.